All right, O.J. died. He was 76. Who knew? I mean, he was still running around and at least giving the impression on Twitter that he was playing golf every day, having a great time. Nothing pissed me off more than listening to O.J.'s routine on Twitter. Hey, Twitter world, it's me, yours truly on this six extremely hot 4th of July. Hey, Twitter world, yours truly. Look at Las Vegas. Look how beautiful that is. Look at those mountains. Hey, X-World, is me, yours truly, getting ready to head out and join the fellas at my favorite haunt and watch football. It's me, yours truly, kind of hanging out down here in the sunshine on South Beach. It's me, yours truly, just kicking back on my couch. It's me, yours truly. Uh, I'm on vacation playing golf from playing golf. (laughs) I'm just saying to all my followers, (laughs) followers <laughs> i'm just saying go bills <laughs> i'm just saying take care <laughs> talking about his da- laughing <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah laughing in everyone's face so yeah nicole was 35 when she was murdered by oj and ron was 25 you, if you add that up he lived longer than them combined so he yeah. really robbed them of a lot of years OJ didn't have the good sense to just shut the fuck up. He, you know, he loved telling people his life and how good it was. The most infuriating thing was he gives no indication of how haunted he was by Nicole's death. I don't think he thought about it for a minute. OJ had the cops called on him for domestic violence nine times before the murder. Nine fucking times. I mean, what they think was going to happen. The the great thing, and I want to praise Judith Regan for this. She lost her job over it. She had a book called If I Did It. She got OJ to basically tell you what happened that night. Now you listen to it and go, okay, there's the confession. As things got heated, uh, I just remember Nicole fell and hurt herself. And uh, this guy kind of got into a karate thing. And I said, well, you think you can kick my ass? And I remember I grabbed the knife. I do remember that portion. After that, I don't remember. Except I'm standing there and it's all kind of stuff around and um what kind of stuff but and stuff around you know we you know i hate to say this but this is not that I'm right, sorry. Right. i know we got to back up again right. <laughs> it's know? okay i'm gonna back this up is hard. this is this hard, is hard. To, yeah, i know yeah. i'm gonna back it's up to... to try to make people think that i'm a... <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> again laughing yeah two months ago you remember i played this on the air people on the internet were saying that oj was in hospice care he really was into, like, fronting and not telling anyone he had cancer. Because... Yeah, yeah, because he denied that. Hey, X-World, hospice? Hospice? You talking about hospice? <laughs> no, I, I'm not in any hospital. I don't know who put that out there, but whoever put that out there, I guess it's like the Donald Sink. Can't trust the media. Uh, and then you can. I'm hosting a ton of friends for, for the Super Bowl here in Las Vegas. And all is well. A ton of friends. So, hey, guys, take care. Have a good Super Bowl weekend. Yeah, no problem, OJ. Where? The, give me a list of those ton of friends that OJ had. Like, who? who's so morally corrupt they could be friends with OJ and, like, sit there and watch the Super Bowl with the murderer? OJ has more friends than I do. Well, years ago in 2019, we had Ron Goldman's sister on, Kim, really nice person. She was only like 22 when the murders happened, and we talked about what it felt like to see OJ so active and positive on social media. No, I think there's people that are completely fascinated by him. He's charismatic. He's, you know, watch him on Twitter, right? He's got this this personality, and, and I think that people are just, people take selfies with him now, and I'm just... I mean, are you upset with the people who follow OJ on yeah, Twitter? I yeah, mean, yeah. Not the ones that follow him that go on there to harass him. People are unrelenting. That's good. Yeah, the, the yours truly and the, the laughing and the chuckling about it everything i just that part is really hard to stomach because i look at him and think rage murderer domestic violence abuser it's just hard for me to see him just enjoying you know the good life like he likes to refer to it but there are a lot of people that that go on there and support him and and you know it's time for everybody to let it go and i should just leave him alone because he's a free man and and i'm like no why 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 do i need to do that kim goldman told me that when oj was acquitted johnny cochran the lawyer leaned over to her and whispered Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, like, like, wow, we beat you. Weird fucking world we live in. But uh, the, the truth of the matter is this girl lives with the fact that she lost her brother. I'll leave the last word to Kim Goldman. She told me that she saw OJ in a parking lot once. And here was what oh. was for her mind. Yeah. 
I was in a parking lot. I just don't remember. Like somewhere in Los Angeles. And but there he was. And there he was. He was walking across the parking lot. Um, I mean, I remember that that gait, like that that step, confident. You know, and just the way he walked, and he had like a little. It would dip a little when he walked, and I, I you know, for nine and ten months, I studied the back of his head. I mean, I knew everything. And I saw him walking. I thought, oh my God, I, I could take him out right here. Nobody right. would know. There's nobody around. And I, I remember like white knuckling the steering wheel. And I'm thinking, wait a minute, this is not, this is not who I am. Um, I can't do that to my dad. I'm not a killer. Yeah, you can't, you can't get justice. But one more th- fact I learned, J.D. is like uh, O.J.'s widow. O.J. followed almost no one on Twitter except for J.D., and so people were calling, right, J.D.? People were calling you like, hey, are you okay? I kept getting text messages. I kept getting uh, instant messages from people that work around here. Oh, sorry you lost your friend or sorry you lost a, a follower <laughs> oh, and this and that. Yeah. Yeah, it was really uh, real hilarious, everybody. Didn't you <laughs> so, tell yeah. me O.J. follows me on Twitter, too? Or did? He followed both of us, yeah. I don't know why. <laughs> but maybe it was like a message to us like, hey, man, I know you guys are fucking with me. And, you know, hey, just know I'm listening and I'm tracking you. Yeah, well, that's what, you know, I remember I was driving whenever I, I got the notification that he was following me, and it it, it shook me a little bit. I was like, fuck yeah. Simpson. Simpson <laughs> yeah, I mean, following me. guy's a murderer. <laughs> well, yeah. Like, you piss him off enough, and he'll kill you. That's my thoughts on OJ. I'm not going to talk about OJ anymore, I guess. Well, Unless we don't have to up. anymore. He won't be giving us updates on his great life. 